Hi, I'm a guest expert here for the show. Uh, on emotional warmth. That's right. <laughs> emotional warmth begins with um, emotional warmth. Mm. Right. <laughs> emotional warmth begins with, well, the heart. And um, that reminds me of a little story that I have to tell you guys about when I got my heart. <laughs> no, really. I didn't have one. I wasn't born with a heart. Are you like that um, man in the movie with the Oz? Very much like that. Oh, but, wow, uh, wow y'all. I thought that was fake. <laughs> yes, but uh, it was a lot more expensive for my insurance company. And I was actually born with a heart on the outside of my body, uh, which they amputated because they thought it was like an extra placenta or something. <laughs> which really caused me a whole lot of health problems as a kid. But there was this nurse. She was a beautiful woman. A young, voluptuous, nubile woman who was blonde and caring, with hair like a pony that ran through the hot summer hay. <laughs> she kind of had the jaw of a pony, too. But that never bothered me, because, well, she controlled my life, my health, and my destiny. She would bring me presents like green jello on Thursdays, <laughs> and a little button I could click for more morphine. Ah, morphine. <laughs> ah, morphine. And I don't know if it was just the morphine talking, or that horse jaw flapping with sweet sounds of, can I change that bedpan for you? And that's OK, you didn't die today. <laughs> or maybe there was something else. Then one day, I felt a little beating from my chest. I was my left lung collapsing, <laughs> which caused me to spiral a bit in my health. But who was there to save me? But that horse-faced girl that I loved so much. <laughs> click, 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 click. Oh. And she taught me to love. And I've never loved anyone else since. Now, you know why we brought you on the show today? Yeah, I'm a... Because of your book that you wrote. Oh, right. And how it turns out <laughs> that it was all a lie. And your heart wasn't born on the outside of your chest. <laughs> Damn, the internet. something you'd like to say to the audience, okay? Because we have your mother backstage. She's wearing headphones. Take a look and show a picture of her. There she is. She is listening to the new Josh Groban album, and it's fabulous. <laughs> he plays wonderful piano, and that's beside the point. But does he play piano? It doesn't yes. matter. There's piano on the album. I don't know if he plays it. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Okay, I got, some, I got something to say. Okay, I got something to say. Now, uh, say it. Uh, first of all, it's a two-part answer. I, I, I just say that I love the uh, the Ufra, uh, Eileen O'Donnell show. Amen, amen. I love it. I love it. And, and two, I want to say liars are dicks. Liars are dicks, but we're not going to be negative to him. That's right. Because he decided to come on the show and, and state his truth. Because your mother's going to say, she's going to come out and say that, no, my baby was born normal and he has a heart all this time. Oh, and she so would say that. You weren't an alcoholic, which you didn't claim. But you, you're not. <laughs> so, I mean, that's just, let's get that out of the way. Without no one's saying you're an alcoholic, we're just saying that you have a heart. Uh, that. So, okay. Another question from the same man. When I called when, uh, when I called you a dick, I didn't know you was an alcoholic. I'm real sorry. He's not an alcoholic, sir. <laughs> Come on, throw me a bone! Sir, if you look under your seat, there's keys to a new helicopter right outside. <laughs> right outside, it's this just for you. Rich. Everybody's getting helicopters today. <laughs> I'm gonna fly it! I'm gonna... We'll see if we got it. I think I have speedboat for you. Hey, I came on the show because I really wanted to do one thing. Yes. And I know it's not your show, but it is my favorite show. I just want to do it. My show's my favorite show. Hey, y'all! Y'all! Yes! See, that's a different show. I know, but I still <laughs> like that show. And I think that John guy, the pianist, he's coming on that show. You should sit shit your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> Which is it? <laughs> okay, so now y'all see, a man with a good heart is a good man. A man with a heart on outside of his body is a better man. <laughs> but a man that lies about a heart on the outside of his body 
is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> or we used to call them stegosauruses. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's true. Uh, Thomas Hitler. <laughs> Thank you. And, and, and I hope that that... What? Where did he go? Oh, maybe he was an angel. Wow. Wow. You think of things on a whole other plane, and I love that about you. That's called 62 million years. Well, I would hope you'd be smart by now. Wow. 